Seven, four, oh, one. Oh, mm. yes. On the MS, round Amundsen, headed for Antarctica. I look around the room. Okay, you do that, I'll get the bags. Look around the room, where can I get the bags? I'll go around this way. So good, do not tell me either. Chair. Got telly as well. Wine. Where's the wine bags here? Fruit. Very goody bottles. Can you look in the bathroom. Bathroom. Move the move the bags up then. Oh, just all excited to watch yourself. Yeah. Oh, let's have a look in the bathroom. Okay. Heated there. floors. Yes. Heated floors. You dry your undies on there apparently. Large, really large. Right. We're going here. Cupboard. Yeah. Oh. Life jackets. Life jackets and slippers. Life jackets. Slippers. We haven't got our the... coach yet. We'll get them later. That's it, really. Beds so are nice and soft. There we go. That's it. For 18 days. Down to Antarctica and back. Bye. Morning from Bornhaven, Antarctica. Oh my god. It's rather chilly, but my goodness, it is absolutely stunning. Today. But this is what you want to wake up to, right? Seriously. My client coming in, we've just seen a chin strap penguin on an ice floe. Doing a zodiac cruise around here later today and a landing, depending on the weather. This is just incredible. Oh, look under the water, the ice so is really big blue. underneath. Yeah, that's what they say. Right, this is our first continental landing. I'm just going to go to the rocks and then get back on the boat and go back. I'm up on deck. It's about 5.30 in the morning. Top uh, upper decks are closed because they're slippery. And look at this. It's snowing. We got icebergs, we got snow, and it is, how can I put it, a bit chilly. Yes. So, this is Nico Harbour. Spectacular, just ain't the word. And here's the expedition team going out to check out the landing site. This is mind blowingly incredible. Wow. Oh, 
I think it's more cardiovascular trouble than this. <laughs> Here we are, live from the Zodiac, heading towards Dunai Point. We're just going outside and we may be some time. Island. Got gentle penguins everywhere. Ships out there. Antarctica all around. It's just absolutely stunningly, amazingly beautiful. I'm so privileged to be here. So they melt faster under water because water has higher heat conductivity yeah. than air. Um, and then, as we know since Titanic, <laughs> the movie, most icebergs are larger under water than on top of the yeah. earth. And if they melt underneath, they will lose their balance and that causes them to start popping. Seals, leopard seals. Can't see the other ones. There's dozens.
Hello. How are you feeling on deep rocks? Hmm, I think I'll be going medium, please. <laughs> Stonington Island, British research base, closed in about 40, early 50s or late 40s. Last place to have dogs on Antarctica. There used to be a glacial bridge across to the mainland, but uh, that's all that remains of the bridge. Because you'd otherwise you'd wonder why would they be here on the island. It's now saved as an emergency refuse only. The American base is over on the other side. So, this is uh Another British base hut on Horseshoe Island, still below the Antarctic Circle. There's a brown skewer nesting site. Got seals and the belly penguins. There's a few bits and bobs left over by the Brits. And we can go inside and have a look. It's a terrific looking harbour. Beautiful. Drag passage. It's a beautiful, balmy day. 